Welcome everyone to Cali Resin and Stuff. My name is Terry. I am a resin artist. I do love crafting with resin, but I also love stuff. And the stuff I'm gonna talk about today is my massive Barbie collection. The Rosa Parks doll is the first doll that became a part of my collection. The Rosa Parks doll is a part of Barbie's Inspiring Women series. She comes with a letter of authenticity as well as a doll stand. She has a pillbox hat, glasses, a long overcoat, a floral dress, gloves, and some gray booties or shoes. And uh, I want to say that I actually have four dolls that are a part of the Inspiring Women series. And I want to say that I am not trying to downplay or minimize the achievements of these women. However, for the sake of time, I will only discuss what they are most known for. And Rosa Parks was a civil rights activist. That's the back of the box. The next doll that I have is the Maya Angelou doll. Uh, the Maya Angelou doll is so cool and special to me because one, she's holding a book that I was instructed to read when I was in high school. She's holding a book called, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Um, she has on like an African print or daishiki type of dress as well as a head wrap. And uh, Maya Angelou was an author, activist, and a teacher. That's the back of the box. And of course, I had to refresh my memory and purchase the I Know Why the Cage Bird book. I can't wait to get into this. The next inspiring women that I have is Helen Keller. Helen Keller. As I understand, Helen Keller lost her hearing and her sight at an early age. This lady became an educator. She learned how to read and to write braille, and she became an educator. How cool is that? And what I love about this box, box most is that it's written in braille in the front. It's got some braille here and in the back. And I imagine that all of this braille writing is what the text says up here. But yeah, that's Helen Keller. The last doll that I have that's a part of my uh, the Inspiring Women series is the Katherine Johnson doll. Now this doll, I will say that this doll was the most expensive doll that I have actually. She was $118. Katherine Johnson, if you've ever seen the movie Hidden Figures, she was one of the characters in the movie. Katherine Johnson was a phys physicist as well as a mathematician. She worked for NASA. And I love the details on this doll. I mean, you can even see her NASA badge. It's very detailed. She's got cat eye glasses. I love her retro dress. Um, she's got some black heels on and uh, even the collar. Her collar looks like it could be like a pin that she would wear, but it's really just like a little sticker on the collar, but it's like a rocket ship. And she has a pearl necklace and pearl earrings on. I love her hairdo. Um, and yes, all of these. And also, by the way, the Inspire and Women uh, series, all of these dolls have full art articulation, meaning full movement. You can see that at her uh, elbows, her elbows bend, her wrists bend, her knees bend, her ankles bend, bend, excuse me. So yeah, that's the Katherine Johnson doll. This is another doll that caught my eye. This doll is in a wheelchair and she even comes with a ramp, the purple thing there. So uh, yeah, she's got her Rainbow Mini, she's fully articulated as well. Her knees bend, ankles bend, elbows and wrists, um, and other parts. But yeah, she's got long flowy hair, just so cool. Had to have her. And that's the Barbie Fashionista number 166. 
The next doll that I have is the Elvis doll, the Elvis Presley doll. She has the traditional American Eagle outfit on. She's got her gold rings. This doll was uh, made in 2021. And a fun fact is that it says that there are only 20,000 of these made. I got her for about $47. I hope she goes up in value, but at this point, I don't plan on opening any of my dolls. While they're in my possession, they will not be opened. Um, they're just simply for display. But yeah, that's the Elvis doll. She's got the pompadour, um, blue eyes, just a fun doll. The next doll that I have is the Barbie the BMR, excuse me, the BMR 1959 doll. This is the Barbie Mil Millicent Roberts doll. So Barbie, actually, this doll is about 63 years old. Not this doll, but the Barbie brand is 63 years old. I love this doll because she's got the street uh, vibe as far as her her clothing, her wardrobe. She's got a denim jacket. It says uh, repeated logo, BMR 1959. She's got a beret on, hoop earrings, a turtleneck dress, and some platform sneakers. She comes with a letter of authenticity as well as a doll stand. Now, for a collector, I found this a bit of a challenge. This doll, if I wanted to just display her, without getting any dust on her. She, interestingly, she came in a box that looks like a shoe box. I will show you. This is the box that she came in and it was just open. It had no type of protection or anything like the clear wrap. So for a collector that doesn't, there are collectors that collect and they play with their dolls or they open them but for someone that doesn't want to open their doll this was a little chat and have it on display the challenge so it was a little challenging so what i did i perch i went to a fabric store and i purchased some vinyl and i wrapped her because she was i will insert a picture but it looked like a shoe box. The, the wrapping is amazing. And I'm actually gonna, here's her letter of authenticity in the back. You can see what one of those looks like. BMR 1959. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this box for the next owner, whether it be my child, one of my children, or whoever. But I want everything to remain in tip top shape. And speaking of which, all of these dolls, I will wrap them in clear plastic as a added protected, well, a protect, an additional layer of protection from dust and stuff like that. So I will be wrapping all of these dolls in clear plastic. That way they can still be displayed and be protected. But yeah, so what I did, I got that clear vinyl wrap the rock the box or the, it came like a tray so i pulled the tray out wrapped it and i put some vinyl stickers here and on the side and i even put some like uh, scrapbook paper just to give it some color on each side so the next owner will be able to unwrap this and reinsert it in this box the box is really cool i like her but yeah, that's the BMR 1959. Now, one thing my daughter, my uh, sister pointed out is that Bob, Barbie is always reinventing herself. We used to play with Barbie dolls and Barbies have come a long way. I love how they feel that beauty is everywhere. And it, it, the Barbie brand is so inclusive. This doll has a prosthetic leg. How cool is this doll? She's got her hair half up, half down. This is the Barbie Fashionista number 121. She's got a mini on, hoop earrings. Had to have her in my collection too. 
speaking of beauty and inclusiveness, I have never seen a Barbie doll that is bald. Yes, this is a bald Barbie. This is the Barbie Fashionista number 150. I don't know if she's bald because of her hairstyle of choice or maybe she is bald as a result of some sort of treatment for a health condition, whatever the case. She is unique and gorgeous. And uh, she's got on this floral mini, or midi, excuse me, some white booties. You can see it from the side. And yeah, some gold hoop earrings. So unique and beautiful. All right. Now, this is another Barbie Fashionista doll that I have. She is number Barbie number... Barbie Fashionista number 169. I think what did it for me, I love how the top of her, um, her top and her bottom, they contrast her top and her skirt. She's got the large print hounds tooth print on her top and then a smaller print on her skirt. But what did it for me was her hair clips, her barrettes. So yeah, this is the Barbie Fashionista number 169. The next doll that I have is, this is the only doll, the only Barbie extra doll that I have. She is, I love her. She's got a floral jumpsuit and a contrasting floral jacket, some pink platform heels and long pink braids, gold accessories. And she even has a pet mouse or rat that's a DJ. So yeah, and she comes with sunglasses and, and some other fun accessories. But this doll reminds me, my niece Faith always says, Auntie, you're so extra, but this is all me. And the whole extra series is all me. But yeah, that's the Barbie extra. The next series that I have is the Barbie looks. I love this doll and can relate to her because she's a curvy girl. And she's got on a, a black jumpsuit and some silver booties. I love her natural makeup, her afro, and it's so full and thick and just, she is gorgeous. That is the Barbie extra, I mean, excuse me, the Barbie looks and she's model number two. Model number two. Barbie looks and of the Barbie looks collection I have one more this is the Barbie looks model number eight she has a blonde pixie cut it's shaven on the sides I don't know if you can see that and what I love about both of these dolls the Barbie looks I it screams confidence and a little attitude too she's got a ruched um, silver skirt, black booties, and a black tank. And she is fully, art they are both, the Barbie looks, they are fully articulated as well. They have movement at the joints, at all joints. Look at her makeup. Yeah. I love this doll because this is the only doll. This is the Barbie You Can Be Anything. This is the only doll that I have that has bangs. And she is a teacher. She is a stylist teacher. She's got all kinds of accessories like, um, looks like a, a, um, magnifying glass computer test tubes she must be some sort of chemistry teacher because she's got all kinds of like things like that she even comes with a globe glasses fun jewelry um yeah shout out to all of the teachers so i like this you can be anything series as well and Secondly of that series, I've got a firefighter 
And again, these dolls, the details on these dolls are pretty amazing. She even has like a little, this is the firefighter. She comes with a fire hat, fire extinguisher, um, a fire hydrant, as well as a little Dalmatian pump. And this is printed on her shirt. It is not actual, but it's a printed walkie talkie or some sort of radio where she can speak with dispatch or coworkers or something. And then I think that's her badge here. But yeah, shout out to the firefighters. You can be anything. Now this doll is a sig Barbie signature doll. This is the Barbie Lunar New Year. Now, her attire is just so, it's just so much. It's just so amazing. She has the traditional Asian dress. She's got tassel earrings and, um, she is not fully articulated. And so basically her hands and arms, they just can stay in that one position, the bent arm and then the straight arm. But she's got painted nails as well. So this is the Lunar New Year Barbie. Love it. Now, this doll, this is the Dia de Muertos or Dia de los Muertos doll. The Dia de los Muertos tradition is common in the Latin or Mexican um, culture. And really it's an observance or rem holiday or remembrance of your loved ones that have passed on or died. And I love everything about this box and the doll. I can tell that so much thought was put into this doll. Um, she's got a, fl a floral crown. Her Calavera face paint is amazing. Her traditional dress. She's got a skull bracelet and some bangles on the other arm. But check out the back of this box. Look at this. I mean, this is well done. I love this this box, and it's almost like it's it is 3D. It 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 pokes out, it sticks out a bit. The print sticks out. It, you can feel the dimension in it. But this box and this doll is all that, and she's gorgeous. This is the Dia de Muertos doll, or Dia de los Muertos. On the contrast. I was a little disappointed with this packaging. Now this is a Barbie Fashionista number 91. This doll is an albino. And now definition of an albino is someone who lacks melanin or pigment. Um, but she is very fair skinned. And if you look close enough, you can see she actually has freckles. But I love her wardrobe. Of course, I, I'm getting so much fashion inspiration from all of these dolls. But she's got on a crop jersey with a B on it, a plaid skirt, and some platform heels with pom-poms. I think that's my favorite part of the doll is her shoes. So yeah, this is the Barbie Fashionista number 91. This doll was about $50. So I feel like the packaging could have been a little better. In fact, it was kind of like opened at the, it's not even. And I would have appreciated most of the fashion, all of the fashionistas that I've seen, they have a picture of the actual doll down here. Her picture is not even on the front. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah. This is the Barbie Fashionista number 91. The next doll that I have is the Barbie Rewind. This is the Barbie Rewind doll. She, she's just so 80s. And the packaging on this one is pretty cool. It looks like a tape cassette. 
she comes in a box like this. So it looks like a tape cassette. And it's Barbie Rewind. Now, this doll has a gym bag. Um, she's got a curly updo. Just so retro. Leotards, leg warmers. And she even has one of those things you step on when you exercise. Step up and down. And then she's this tape, what looks like a tape deck. I think that's a doll stand. She can actually stand in that. But yeah, this is the Barbie Rewind. She's got weights also. So fun. And that's the back of that box. And this is the back of the cover. Now, I also have the Naomi Osaka doll. Naomi is a, an Olympian. And here it says she was trained by her father at an early age. Naomi began, began her professional tennis career in 2013, rising through the ranks by defeating type, top ranked players with her powerful forehand and 201 kilometers. Kil what km i'm not sure what that means serves but yeah the naomi osaka doll she comes with a nike tennis dress it looks like it could be a skirt or the the skirt is actually detachable where it could be a, a like shorts or a dress so it's like two outfits in one she's got her nike visor tennis racket and a tennis ball as well as her nike tennis shoes that's the Naomi Osaka doll. Now I have this doll. This is a Barbie Fashionista number 155. And like I said, usually you can see a picture of the doll down below. It's just the small details that I pay attention to. Um, but yeah, I like her because she's like a rocker. She's got on some glitter platform not platform but glitter glitter um what is it combat boots pink glitter combat boots um a leopard print mini as well as a t-shirt that says rock and some thunderbolt earrings so this is the barbie fashionista number 155 I also have this doll. This is the Barbie Fashionista number 135. This doll has a skin condition vitiligo. She has an afro puff ponytail as well as a long maxi dress and some sneakers and a fanny pack. Barbie Fashionista number 135. And there you have it. I think I've covered, oh, this is the last. I've got one more. I love this doll because of her facial features. She actually reminds me of some of my friends in India. And I can only imagine her with some traditional Indian dress and maybe some henna. I might even um, decorate her but she is one of the few dolls that I've actually named I've named the bar the uh, another doll I have to show you but I named her Taj like the Taj Mahal but I can just imagine her um, in Indian dress and jewelry and some henna but I love her now I want to tell you how finally how this collection came about I actually was at my mom's house and she had a toilet paper doll sitting on her countertop. Now, toilet paper dolls were common in, in the 80s and 70s. You couldn't go to someone's house without seeing a toilet paper doll in their bathroom. And a toilet paper doll is simply a doll that can store a roll of toilet paper underneath her dress. So... I, my mom, I told my mom, 
I had to have one and she told me, find you a doll. She needed the dimension so she can make the dress. But this doll has two rolls of toilet paper underneath her dress. And my mom made like a little drawstring. There's the toilet paper. There's a drawstring there. It's hidden. She's got a hat. But this is the Barbie Fashionista number 162. I have named her Terry. She does have a twin. I don't, she doesn't have a name though. But this, this dress, my doll just can't have one doll, one dress. My toilet paper doll cannot just have one dress. So I went online on Etsy. I found a shop called Love on a String. And look at this beautiful dress. I think the shop owner's name is Helen. Hi, Helen. I'm in love with this dress. And she's got two rolls of toilet paper under, oh, she's got one underneath her dress. But yeah. One of her rolls must have came out. But two rolls can clearly fit underneath. There's a little, you could stick one more roll there. But yeah, it fastens in the back with some Velcro. But yeah, this is a toilet paper doll. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Um, as I've said before, the purpose of this channel is to inspire and uplift. And I really hope to see you again. I plan on doing, of course, resin videos. I make things like dominoes, chess boards. Um, but I love stuff and there's so much more where this came from. Uh, so much more that I want to share with you. So please stay tuned.